guys, welcome. Cat right here. So honestly, today I didn't totally have like a cool project to work on, so I figured I would just show you how I dye my hair because I've been dyeing my hair for a very long time. It's definitely there's been a lot of trial and error with it, but come on back. I'll show you how to dye my that I dye my hair. Woo! <laughs> 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 she'll show you how to crash and burn that's what she'll show you <laughs> nice but you can see I put tons of stuff all over the floor and counters just so if I happen to drop it's not going to stain because I have stained before but the two main things you need for hair dyeing is you need like your permanent gel and you also need the developer i couldn't explain anything to you in detail about the developer all i know is that i use the tan the 10 excuse me that's 10 not tan and i use a color called very dark brown and i use this one that i purchase online or i get at sally's because you can buy those boxed ones at the grocery store but for my long hair, I have to buy like four or five boxes and it's like 60 bucks. And this alone is like $4. Okay, probably a little more than that, but. $5. It is about $5. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we got a bowl here for mixing it in. We got these little hair clips. We got, of course, you gotta have this for painting it on. But let me show you how I do mine. So with my long hair, I use about three fourths of this little tube. You just stick it in here and you do about uh, one to two of the developer. So obviously one of the permanent and two of the developer. Oh my goodness, it's getting dyed all over my fingers. That's definitely why I keep lots of rags around. So the way I found that's the best for me doing my hair is if I take it and I split it down the middle. Oh, if I can get it right, obviously it doesn't have to be perfect, but we split that down the middle. Take half of it, we put it up in a little bun. See, that way I can work on this side. I can do all of this. And then when I'm done with that, I put it up and then I'll do this side. I do it layer by layer. Like I said, I do um, I finish this side. I put that up in a bun, then I do layer and layer. You have to be really careful with around here to make sure it's not like lopsided looking, but yeah, I'm gonna dye my hair now. Okay, so you can see I got the one side up that's all covered in the hair dye. I got this side up that's now coming down. And then we'll just put it on this side. Very simple. Okay, so I got all of the hair dye. Got along the line there. I got it on my eyebrows. I'll leave this on for probably another 10 or 15 minutes. Then I'll just go and wash it with my long hair. I end up washing it like four times. It might be a little bit of overkill, but I still wash it four times. And then it's very nice after that. Anyway, I'll show you what it looks like. You like it? I like it. It definitely looks very good. You can't see the roots at all. I mean, I didn't change the color or anything, but it still looks very good. So I'll have to tell you about this story. So many years ago, I was bleaching my hair my bleaching it myself do not do that <laughs> not smart because i was bleaching it and i was just doing it here and bleach is extremely damaging to your hair so i had put the bleach in the hair i was washing it out and i was just pulling chunks of hair out of my oh it was crazy i was brushing it and it was just like breaking off i'm like what did i do to my hair yeah Definitely blonde is a good color for some people, but don't do it yourself. 
So anyway, if you like it, I'd love to hear it. And remember, work hard, play hard. We'll see you on the next project.